Hey guys, welcome to another video. So despite me saying that I will not purchase the iPad 7, I ended up giving up and doing so and testing it out for a few months. I did mention in my previous video that I will be keeping my iPad 6, but I did want to try this and see how it works. And here's a video of the unboxing of it. So I did buy the 32 gigabytes version because I knew I wasn't going to keep it for long. This looks exactly like the iPad 6 generation, it's just a little bigger when it comes to the screen, still those bezels are the same. It comes with the USB to uh, lightning. And here's the same paperwork that we get from previous generation. And of course we have the Apple stickers with it, which I love saving. Also here's the fast charger that comes with the iPad. I have so much of these right now, it's crazy. So I've just been giving them out to like my friends. So let me just box all of these up because I won't really need to use them since I have extra ones lying around. And let's get this unsealed. Um, same unboxing experience like the iPad 6 generation before it. I know with the iPad Air and the iPad Pro, you get this different like plastic paper on top. This one just has the clear plastic. Here's just a collection of all the iPad boxes that I have at this point. It's crazy how much iPads I've bought before and I usually save all those boxes. So let's go ahead and get this powered on. You can notice how dramatically big the screen is right now. The size of this iPad is equivalent to the 10.5 inch iPad Air, but it's just those bezels that reduce the size of the screen. So I am unboxing the silver model. I will be comparing it to the space gray model and the gold model. This is the space gray model. The uh, silver model with the white bezels definitely looks more modern than the black front and it makes it look even bigger for some reason. I'm not sure why. And since we don't get that laminated display, you are going to notice that gap more on the gold and the silver model. And here are the color comparisons from the back. They both look beautiful, honestly. It's just that front bezel looks better when it's white. It doesn't look very dated like before. And we still get the Touch ID. I'm trying to turn it on with my finger, but it's not like the iPad Pro. Uh, we still get the Touch ID with the base model iPad. All my apps are re-downloading from the iPad Pro. And then with this one, we actually do have the Smart Folio keyboard connectors that we didn't have with the um, iPad 6 generation. Overall, I can tell the increase in the size. It's definitely noticeable and I actually do like it. It's not that bad. I just got used to the smaller size and plus um, I have a bigger storage capacity on the iPad 6 that I already have. And here is a test of the speakers. They are stereo speakers and they are definitely louder than the iPad 6 generation. I can definitely notice. Let's get that Apple Pencil connected the old-fashioned way. And here is the gold version. This version is my favorite one this year so far. This gold is truly 
amazing. It's like a copper type of color. And I do really like it on the aluminum design on the back. The volume buttons are still on the side like before. The power button is still on the top, which is very hard <laughs> to turn on. So I usually use Touch ID. Setting up Touch ID on this iPad is super fast and super easy. I think after like the iPhone 6s, it became just such a fast, fast process and it's very convenient. The battery life on this is great. However, I use my iPad all day long. So this iPad weighs 1.7 pounds, which is 483 grams. It does have a 10.2 inch screen and it does come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, stereo speaker, lightning connector, and the smart folio connector as mentioned. The camera on this iPad is the dated 8 megapixel camera, but who really takes pictures on their iPads as much as they do on their iPhones? So it's not really that bad if you're using it for school. It does have HDR for photos, panorama, and it does take live photos as well. The video recording is at 1080p HD at 30 frames per second. It does record slow motion at 720p at 120 frames per second. When you shoot a video on this or take a picture, you can definitely see it pixelated. The FaceTime camera is terrible on this. It's still the same as the iPad 6. It's 1.2 megapixels. And taking a selfie on this is just not a good idea. It does not look good, but most people buy this for school. So keep that in mind. Most of the pictures they will take is going to be on the back camera. The screen resolution on this iPad is 2160 by 1620 pixel resolution at 264 pixels per inch with 500 nits of brightness. This is very comparable to the iPad Pro. The only thing that did not change on this iPad despite it being the seventh generation is that it still has the same chip as the iPad 6, which is the A10 chip. The Apple Pencil works perfectly with this. Battery lasts for a while. Uh, the only thing is it's just weird how you charge it and how you connect it to the iPad. It works very similarly to the Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro. However, you don't have the tap technology to change the color or you can't charge it by just placing it on top of the iPad. You'd have to connect it to the actual iPad. I did use it for my notes for school and I do use it to draw as well. I'm not really a big artist, but I try my best. And also when they updated iPad OS, we have all these colors. I know before there was only like four color selections. So the Apple Pencil is so much nicer to use right now on the iPad. I watch a lot of videos on this iPad and with the quality of the display everything looks amazing on it especially if you are watching a video and you do like a split screen or if you're playing a game and watching netflix that's also an option that you have all the apps that i have on it work perfectly well there's no lag because of that powerful chip that it has it makes everything that you want to do on the computer so much easier to do on the ipad because it's just under your fingers and it's such a light device that you can take anywhere. It does replace the basic things that you'd wanna use a computer for, but it's not as powerful as a desktop or a laptop computer. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button as well. And I will see you guys in my next video.